All right, boys and squirrels, it's time for one of the all-time last draws. Oh yeah, here we go, second last pack. What's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be now? We won't give it to a child, now who's it gonna be? Oh, not suitable for children under 36. I am breaking the law once again. I have not turned 36 yet. All right. I uh, can't wait to get the new pack. Might be a little while. Um, we're getting wave five. Tier four, wave five. That's what's coming in the mail. All right. It's Batudo. And he's looking behind him like someone just appeared behind him. Oh, someone just substituted. I like this card because you can tell that you can tell that he has just been surprised because whoever he's training against has just pulled a substitution. And now he's throwing a throwing star behind him because that's where they've appeared to be. That's how I read this card. I don't know if it's a scene from the anime or anything like that. Um, people say <laughs> that the substitution jutsu is broken. And that it's an E-rank jutsu that's taught to little kids at the academy. But it's actually the most insanely powerful, unblockable, bullshit um, jutsu of all time. And uh, it is used by some high-level ninja. It's used by Pain. One of the paths of Pain does a substitution on Jiraiya. After Jiraiya catches it with his hair, I think. Or with a frog hand, one or, one or the other. And the Path of Pain just substitution jutsus out of there. Um, I guess there aren't... I mean, they never laid down any restrictions. Like, I feel like a good restriction for the substitution jutsu so that you couldn't substitute out of literally everything would have been like, oh, the substitution jutsu is, like, really useful. But, like, uh, when, you, when you get to high-level ninja, like, it, it only works if you're, like exceptionally much much faster than the person you're using it against like it only works if you're like way faster and you can substitute um because the person you're fighting against is like much much slower than you so it's like impractical you know that's what i would have i would have put that caveat on the substitution jutsu that it's like impractical to use against high level ninja because they're so fast um, and the, the likelihood that you would get away with it is like zil, you know, nil, nothing, zilch. Um, but they never say that in the manga uh, or in the anime. It's just like, yep, this is a thing you can do. And so, I mean, I guess that raises the question of like, why doesn't everyone substitute? Like, why didn't Jiraiya use substitution when he died? Or why didn't, you know... Or Chimaru used substitution when Sasuke absorbed him, or whatever. It's I guess it's a little bit broken when it comes down to it. If you don't lay the groundwork of, you know, rules or or um, boundaries to the units activate to the jutsu's activation. Um, here's an edgy. Do we have this edgy? Wait, I don't think we have this Neji. Do we actually not have this Neji? No, we have one of him as a kid. All right, I'm 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 going to compare it right now. We're going to do it on screen. Do it live. We're going to do it right frickin' now. I think we definitely have this card now that I'm thinking about it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like we definitely do. All right, there he is. <laughs> All right, but heck, just just for just for waiting, just for being good and waiting. Look at all these Nedges we've got. They're all SRs, except for that one of him as a kid. The most beautiful one. Here he is smiling. This just looks like a Neji photo shoot. This is just like him <laughs> all around town. Like, someone's just taking pictures of him, and he's like, ah, oh, gosh, I guess. I guess you can take pictures if you must. Here's him fighting. He's like, back off, enough pictures. All right, there's him as a kid. It is the same card. I, th I was wondering if it might be slightly different. It's not. It's the same card. That's okay. 
Neji, he's a cool guy, he's a cool guy. No complaints. No complaints about getting a Neji. <sighs> um, you know what he should have been able to do? Have I said this before? He should have done, like, a partial rotation. You know how he can spin himself around and make a dome that's, like, impenetrable? You know how Choji can, like, expand just his hand instead of turning into a giant man or, like, a giant rolly ball? The more advanced level of the technique is that he expands just his hand so he can quickly, like, reach out and grab or smash uh, another person without, like, encumbering himself. Neji should have done that with rotation. So instead of, like, having to stand still in one place and just rotate and spin around, which is, like, good defensively, I guess, but not good offensively, and also you're stuck in one place, he should have just been able to, like, rotate his hand slightly and do, like, a big wave of rotation just from that motion, you know? Um, man, Hyuga Clan starts out so good in original Naruto, and they fall off so hard. I hate to see it. We hate to see it. Whoa, here's Rock Lee saying, whoa! <laughs> It looks like he just <laughs> looks like he just saw a cockroach or something, and he's like, "Oh God, <laughs> get it away from me! What the hell?" Or uh, he's like about to step in shit or something, and he's like, "Whoa, not there! Whoa, I'm glad I didn't put my foot down. Holy, <laughs> this is a really funny card of Rockley. Uh, exceptional, love it. Really good. All right, this is why I don't think." Personally, for me personally, this is why I don't think this symbol could mean chakra, because Rockley is very good at it, and I feel like it means endurance because he's a physical fighter, but he has like no chakra manipulation at all. I don't even know if he has any chakra. Um, you know, I don't know if the gates count as chakra. It's it's unclear. They're very, like, shiny and green. And, like, certainly it looks like energy swirling around him. I don't know if it's chakra or not. Um, but for me, I think, like, this skill tree suggests that this quality is, like, endurance to me. Because it's one of the things Rock Lee excels at. Um, which would be speed, um, endurance, and uh, force, you know, strength. And, of course... Taijutsu. Okay. Holy moly. Uh, this is looking like Tsunade. Um. Whoa, what a what a crazy looking card. This is her when she's when she's younger, I guess. Holy moly, look at this. Look at this lady. Um Okay, well. Lots of lots of green. Tsunade always has lots of green. Um, does she transform herself to look more attractive? I'm I'm kind of unclear as to what her deal is with transformation, because when she gets older, they say that she transforms herself to look to look pretty, I guess. But I think maybe she also transforms herself when she's younger, because, you know. If you see her when she's, like, training, she doesn't quite look like this. So, is she just always under a transformation? I'm not sure. Is it, like, a special type deal? But then, then again, like, transformation is fucked and broken as well. Like, if you transform with magic, you literally become that thing. So it's not an illusion. If Tsunade transforms to be, you know, however she wants to look, she really does look like that way. With, like, the physical mass and you know, everything. It's just, it's for real. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, this is an OR. This is cool. Tsunade is a good character. Um, happy to have her. Kind of rare to see this, like, weird younger portrayal of her. I don't think I've ever seen her wearing these clothes in any iteration before of her character either. Um, so, that's a good one. And the final card... It's a spooky Halloween Kabuto. That's pretty cool. We got some interesting new cards for this one. We got a new Rock Lee. We got a, an OR Tsunade. And we got a sneaky, sneaky fuck Kabuto. Um, you know, should he have been the guy to summon all those Edo Tensai zombies in the end? In the war arc? I don't know. 
it, it's it's kind of a little bit sad that it's not Orochimaru, you know? He was built up, like, so much, especially at the beginning. Orochimaru was just built up to be this, like, fucking crazy evil villain. And Kabuto kind of comes out of left field and is like, well, we don't have a snaky guy. We don't have a snaky bad guy anymore since Orochimaru got, got gulped up. So here I am. Um, which is a little lame, although he is very strong. He's kind of crazily strong. I mean, bringing back all those zombies, finding all that DNA. He found DNA for some weird people. I don't even know where it got it from. He's a bit of a freak. Um, and he goes to Snake Mountain and learns how to snake. And then he learns how to do Sage Dragon mode. Which, you know, a dragon is just a snake, really. The word dragon means snake in Greek. Well, it's, I think it's dracon. Anyways, um, that's cool. That's fun to have a, a weird snaky Kabuto. Um, look at all that purple. He's overflowing with purple. What a guy. Look at his little feetsies. Uh, right, nothing on the back. Um, seems like if you could summon zombies, you could just be unstoppable, right? Like, how could anybody beat you? Unless the entire world joins a team against you and fights all of your zombie guys. Alright, well, fantastic. That was a good second last draw. I'll see you for the finale. Bye-bye.